Best of r slash tales from retail episode 78. Subscribe for Reddit videos daily. Hello Reddit. This is my first post because this just happened to add my work. And sorry for poor text. I'm on mobile so sorry for misspelling. Cast, me, awesome manager, AM, night crew, NC, crazy customer, CC. This lady walks into the store at 11.45pm and we close at midnight and as soon as she got in she grabbed a $35 vase of flowers with a stuffed animal on it then walks around the store picking up other items. But once she reaches our liquor department she has the brilliant idea to try and put a small 4 pack of alcohol in her purse. By the time she makes her way to the front end of the store it's like 11.54 and a few. NC. Workers are by the front door next to my. AM. This will make sense in a bit. So the lady walks up the fourth check stand when I am on the first one. Walks right by me and. AM. Says have a nice night then looks at me shaking my head at him so he turns to her and asks. AM. Miss did you pay for those? CC. Yes I did. Over there she points to the fourth register. NC. May we see your receipt please? Then. CC. Tries to walk past. AM. And. NC. But one of the night crew persisted and blocked her path to the front door so. CC. Tries to use the second door which one of the. NC. Was already waiting at. AM. You need to pay for those things or give them back miss. She gives back all the food she grabbed. Which was not much just a handful of things but doesn't know we saw her take the alcohol. NC. You need to give us the bottle as well ma'am. CC. I don't have a bottle. For f sake. Which was true. She had four small bottles. AM. You can keep cutting and return the items or we can call the police which I already had punched 911 into my phone but was waiting for a signal to call them. After a few minutes she leaves with zero of the items she tried to take. So moral of the story. Don't try and steal things we see you before you even grab the first items. Just pay for them like everyone else does. Thank you. Next. So a while back I was working for a gas station as an overnight employee right across the street from a bar. We would get all kinds of characters inside the store almost every day most of the time they were drunk. Or they were high. Well one night we had a guy come into the store wearing a Bud Light cowboy hat already stumbling around and speaking in a slurred speech go right for the alcohol and where I live it is illegal to sell after 2am and it was 3 at the time this guy grabs the chain off the beer cooler and moves it so he can grab a 30 pack all the while we are hollering at him that it is too late. He stumbles up to the counter and place the 30 pack on the counter and looks at my co-worker before slurring how much. My co-worker told him that he is not gonna sell to him because it's too late for beer and he is drunk. The guy did not appreciate being told no so he looked at my co-worker and said hey fuck you I want you to come outside and we will see who won't sell who beer. I was trying not to die laughing. What made it even better was that when we again told him no that he was too drunk he responded with I am not drunk I just smoked a lot of weed. Thankfully he eventually stumbled out but as he was leaving he backed into a cop car that was pulling into the store. Thank you. Next. So I worked at a photography equipment store that was part of a small chain surrounding a major US city. They've recently gone under but I left about 10 years ago. Right after the holiday season it was normal to get a bunch of gift recipients into the store to get help with whatever camera, lens, etc. That someone had bought them as a gift. So it's a busy weekend day in January and in comes a couple with a white box. I have the pleasure of being available to them. They set the box on the counter and say that their daughter sent them a digital camera for Christmas but they had no idea how to work it and wondered if I would be able to help them. They said well let's see what we've got. Inside the box was an off-brand piece of junk that was obviously bought from some shady online retailer. It seemed to be all new but didn't come in the typical box or with any of the typical packaging. Probably a foreign market camera bought cheap and resold in the US as a bargain. We ran into this occasionally so it wasn't something new to me. Anyhow I did start to tell them some very basic things about using a camera but I was trying to indicate to them that I'd like them to pick the camera up and follow my lead as opposed to me being hands on and diligently walking them through things like I would if I were helping someone with a product we sold or even actually carry. I wasn't being rude. I simply wanted them to be proactive in the learning process as opposed to me spoon feeding the information to them bit by bit by bit. As a quick example I just wanted them to pick it up, learn to turn it on, 
and learn to navigate the menu and buttons as opposed to me showing them all that twice before handing it over. I was already providing a service to them for free that people could pay to learn from us at our weekly classes. They were being choosy beggars. So I ended up excusing myself for a second when my manager finished with some people and went to the office. I asked him about the situation and he told me I was doing the right thing but if they get huffy and puffy with me that I can be huffy and puffy back to them, within reason. I returned to the couple and tried again to mention our classes but they weren't interested. So I finally said something to the effects of I'm trying to help you here, but I need you to actually pick your camera up and learn by using it because it does us no good to have me stand here and do it for you. They didn't like that. I don't know what their problem was. It's not like I was going to come home with them and be their photographer so truly why not pick the damn thing up and learn something? They scooped their stuff up and as they turned towards the door the man said well thanks for your help. Even though you weren't really a help so I responded and you weren't really a customer. They left without saying anything else and thankfully that was the end of it. It was really weird that I was given permission to act that way because this company typically expected us to kiss boots pretty much no matter what unless someone threatened us or hurled slurs at us. Thank you. Next. Quite long. So I apologize. Okay. For a bit of context. I work for a chain of stores that sells clothing, homewares and food. I work in one of the stores that is a food hall only but customers can order clothing slash homeware items online and have them sent to our store to pick up. And there, I'm a bit of a jack of all trades. I'll often work the click and collect desk and fill shelves but 9 times out of 10 I do the food reductions. Food items going out of date that day will get reduced to about 85-90% of their original price first thing in the morning. They'll then get reduced again at about 2pm to about 50% of their original price by me. Our food is pretty decent but also pretty pricey so as you can imagine I often accumulate a fan club that follow me around the store. Because of this, our store policy is to not reduce things that are handed to us by customers. We take the item off the shelf, reduce it and it goes back onto the shelf. That's it. Folk will always still try and chance their arm though, it's shocking the amount of times things have been grabbed out of my hands. This policy is mainly for the staff members, it's more efficient as we're not wasting time reducing a Karen's entire trolley of bargains that she's piled up. That and it stops customers arguing with us, accusing us of favoritism and all that. They will still argue with each other though and that is always entertaining. Okay, so, to the Karen in question. She's a sweet old lady with a walking stick that comes into the store with her husband. She's a regular that knows a lot of the staff and is lovely and chatty to them. Not me though. For some godforsaken reason, she just doesn't like me. I'm not blowing my own trumpet or anything but I'm a very pleasant member of staff. I'm always smiley, helpful and cheerful, even to the customers that don't really deserve it. So she always seems to start ridiculous, silly arguments with me. On one occasion, she came to me at click and collect for her parcel. Unfortunately, it was delayed which can often happen when there's sales on or it's Christmas and they get backed up with orders. I explained this to her when she started to get enraged that her order that she wanted to pick up today was not here today. Every time I explain company policy slash store policy slash reasons for issues she always barks the same thing at me. I know. I used to work at another branch of our store. Thank you. Next. Okay so, I work at a certain store that sells things for $5 or less, and I've seen kids try to stuff chips in their big coat pocket, take a quick snack from the 10 cent candy when they think nobody's looking, all that fun stuff. But today was just the dumbest attempt at shoplifting that I have ever seen. So it's just me and my manager, so while she's cleaning, I'm keeping watch over the register and doing inventory in between sales. Eventually this lady comes up the my register with her kid in a stroller looking absolutely dead to the world and places a few items on the counter. I'm ringing her up like normal until I notice a Peppa Pig play pack sticking out of the stroller. It's not hidden or anything so I figured her kid was holding it and she just forgot about it. So I pointed it out and asked if she was buying it. See, oh no, that's hers, you see, she brought it from home. Ah okay sure. Your unconscious three year old brought along an unopened play pack on her and mom's trip to the store. I'm already ready to call this woman out on it, but benefit of the doubt right? She could have brought it from home and then fell asleep, but then this woman kept talking. 
C. Wow, you guys sell this here? I've never seen it in your store. She readjusts it in the stroller. Hold on to it and don't lose it. Now, as she's readjusting it, I almost burst into laughter then and there. Me. Mom. May I please see the play pack? Now it took a bit of arguing, but I guess she decided she could convince me it was hers. So as I'm holding on to it, I start questioning her. Me. So, you say that your daughter brought this an open play pack from home, correct? C. Yes. She did. Me. And you said you've never seen it in our store before, correct? C. Yes. You don't sell them here. I haven't seen them once. And I don't appreciate being talked to like this. At this, I flip the package over, and point to the bright yellow sticker that clearly says, Store name, 5, 0, 0. Her face goes pretty red, so I offer to let her add it to her transaction, or leave it here, because it was most definitely not her daughter's. In the end she left it at the store, after walking out saying many bad words that should not be said in front of a 3 year old. Thankfully she was still asleep. It honestly sucks because people think they can get away with all kinds of crap at our location because we don't have security, just observant cashies. I was actually told during my training to not confront sharplifters, which makes me so angry. There's nothing I hate more than dishonesty and it makes me wonder how many people I've sent off with a smile had stolen items in their pockets. Thank you. Next. I work as a cashier at a store that sells groceries and household goods, not Walmart. And this happened on Valentine's Day. I work at one of the registers nearest the door and because of this we're responsible for responding to the ease, security, pedestals and our shopping carts are designed with locking wheels that we're also supposed to respond to because if a wheel locks up the customer can't move the carts easily anymore. They lock in two locations for two different reasons. If they lock out the east pedestals it means they either didn't go through a register or they didn't spend enough time with the cart in the register to trigger the don't lock up feature. The other location is if they try to remove the cart from the perimeter of the parking lot. I was ringing up customers after my lunch break. I already had higher anxiety due to the sheer number of people who are in the store. Social anxiety. Yay. I totally work in a great job for that. I see a woman with a cart walking towards the doors. But I don't really pay her much mind. She had a toddler holding a balloon in the child seat and a cart full of large stuffed animals and what appeared to be food. She didn't have anything in her cart bagged but that's not extremely uncommon since I live in an area where we charge for bags if you don't bring your own. Suddenly I hear the song of our people. Ding ding ding. Ding ding ding. Her cart wheel has locked up. I finished up my transaction and told the customer next in line I'd be right back. Grabbing the device to unlock the cartwheel. When I approached, the toddler had started screaming. Me. Hello. Mom. Could I see your receipt please? Her. Oh. Holding some crumpled, what we refer to as garbage, receipts she shuffles through them I think my girlfriend took it starts fighting with toddler who is trying to climb out of the cart. Me. I can hold this here. Gestures to register. While you go get it from her. Her. I'll call her still fighting with her toddler she starts fumbling in her large purse for her phone. She gets on the phone. I'm starting to feel anxious and shaking because I had a line and I thought this was going to be quick. Her. Go help them. I paused a moment before going back to the register and immediately as I'm ringing up the next customer call my manager. I brief him on the situation and he says he'll get someone up there. But before he got someone there. She picked up her kid and walked out with just the kid in the balloon they were holding. I called my manager back and told him what happened. I excused myself from the next customer to remove the cart from blocking the middle of the east pedestals, and pulled it over to my register. One of my co-workers later rang it up for me. Our policy is if we stop a theft we get 10% of the recovered merchandise in cash. I'm making a nice $60 plus off of her. Turned out she had a bunch of expensive makeup and ethnic hair care products buried under all the stuff. I kind of felt bad at first because it looked like basic groceries and valentine stuff for kids, but when I found out it totaled over $600 in theft I stopped feeling bad really quick. TL. Doctor. Lady tried to steal over $600 and left with only her kid in the $1.99 balloon he was carrying. Thank you. Next. So this incident happened this morning. 
and I figured I'd share it along with other funny incidents that we probably all experienced in some way or another. So to start, my business doesn't open right on our hour like 8am for example. We open half past the hour, which I won't give the exact time just for my company's privacy. And in case anyone asks, my store's hours are properly posted online on both our store's website, and on Google, as well as the open sign. So this morning, I was this first one to arrive, and I go through my usual routine. Turn on lights, set stuff up outside, etc. Usually once I'm done, it's when staff arrive. And a important note, a lot of staff enter through the front of the store at the main doors instead of the back, so I have to keep the doors unlocked, and keep an eye on it in case customers come in before we open. So I'm several feet away from the doors, getting another area up and running. Still another 10 minutes before we open, and I see a guy heading for the doors. I head up, catching him just as he enters, and inform him we don't open for another 10 minutes. He had a confused look, and he says a few words, like he was trying to process what he heard, before finally saying why do you guys open so late. I responded with that is that time we always opened. It's what the boss set as the store's operating hours. He gives a annoyed sigh and says he'll wait outside then for another 10 minutes then. So he goes out to his vehicle, then just suddenly leaves. As far as I know, he hasn't come back. The next, these two occurred this summer. So I was again by myself. I was in our garden area setting up our displays of garden stuff in front of the door, when a vehicle pulls up, still another 15 minutes to opening. I keep an eye on him, but he doesn't get out of his vehicle. Two of my co-workers arrive in their vehicles, parking in one area of the lot, and walk past the customer's vehicle to enter the store. They were in full uniform which is not hard to miss. As soon as they enter, I see the customer get out, making his way to the door. I get an earshot of him, and say sorry sir. The store isn't open for another 15 minutes. He then in a very annoyed and almost aggressive tone yells out but you let those customers in. And I respond with those were my co-workers arriving for work sir. Suddenly his tone changed. He responded with oh. In an embarrassed tone. He then quickly got back in his vehicle. And left. The next. I arrive earlier than normal because I had a lot of stuff to set up. When I pull into the store. It's still a half hour before opening. And I already see a customer vehicle sitting in the parking lot. I do the routine. And at this point. It's maybe 10 minutes before opening, and I see the customer get out, making his way to the door. I quickly step out, and inform him we don't open for another 10 minutes. He seemed to stomp his foot on the ground, he turned around, got back into his vehicle, really slamming the door really loud, I heard it from inside, and he drove off. Those are my most dramatic experiences I've had. The rest are the usual and the oh so fun experience of watching customer trying to get in after we close, that they try pushing and pulling on automatic doors, and the oh so fun dumbfounded looks they get on their faces when they can't fathom we are closed, and I'm usually the last one to leave the store, so I get to see it all until I leave.